Hello and welcome back here to the channel here on Torque Drift to take the Road Atlanta Challenge. So there is a challenge in Torque Drift where you are able to go against Vaughn Jr. at Road Atlanta with Road Atlanta Round 1 just coming to complete this weekend. A little late to this challenge, but we're going to be trying to accomplish that today. And we're going to be using the cars of Odie Bakshis and Matt Fields to try and do it. So we have basically all three of the competitors up there. So let's go full send. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All that's found in the description box below. So we're going to go. So we are going to go into this. I did run a quick test. So we're going to go into this and we're going to run Matt Fields' VET and Odie Bakshi's S14.5. Here for today and see if we can't complete and beat Von Gittin Jr. here on Road Atlanta. We are rocking the Xbox Elite controller here for today's episode. Oh, that was not a good initiation by my part. And we got to catch up to Von through this section and uh, we're a little bit off course. Definitely need to get more and more comfortable with these cars. I think my settings are all actually weird. We're going to have to go tweak our settings real quick, and then we will try that again. All right, so we did tweak our settings a little bit. So now we're going to go back here and see if we can't accomplish this. Oh, fourth gear kind of impeded a little bit on Vaughn on that entry, and I'm not sure we're going to be able to get it done here with Odie's car. We should be able to get a ton with Odie's car, but unfortunately, I do not feel that I will be able to get a double Odie's. We're going to give it one more good full send to make sure we can try and get the best foot forward. So fourth gear is the way I need to go, and we just need to go full send with the car. And hopefully not hit Vaughn or impede on Vaughn on an ent on entry, because, you know, lead car does have the right of way. I mean, that was, you know, I'm just getting left by the Mustang, but of course the Mustangs are extremely fast in real world too. I'm getting left behind by Vaughn's Mustang here on Road Atlanta in Odie's car. So we may have to switch up to Matt Fields' car and see if we can do it with that. If not, we may have to go to another car and not be able to run these and actually beat this challenge. Definitely want to get those two FD crates and possibly the king of the road decal. So we're going to go to Matt Field's car and see if we can do anything better with his car. Much closer on initiation. Probably need to go into fourth, but we're managing in third. Oh, we washed out on the upper part of the hill. Ah. Oh rip we're gonna try that once again so we are definitely closer on entry with Matt Fields as that so uh, as I say that we get left I need to be on his door that is a very dirty cut we need to be on the door of Vaughn's car if we have any hopes of completing this challenge and it looks like fourth gear will work, so we are going to go into fourth. We need to get that entry that we got on the first run with Matt Fields' car, and hopefully we can actually complete this. Not, I would say, an easy challenge. So if you guys have completed this already, I'm sure a lot of you guys have, with this challenge being out since FD. Shifted too early. I keep forgetting these cars don't like to short shift. Actually, I think our third gear is our better gear. We need to not short shift so we can actually stay up with Vaughn on the run up. It's a little bit better. Lost him a little bit going up the hill. 
Kind of prevented the car from washing out this time. Man, this is a very tough challenge. You need to be on door with him in order to complete it. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to complete it with these two cars. I wanted to try and do it with, you know, Matt Fields and Odie Bakshi since they were on the box for round one of FD. But I don't think it's gonna happen. We're gonna go one more try with Matt Fields' car. And then we may have to switch up to another car. And I impede on Vaughn, it's fine. Oh, little door bang. Yep, nope, this one's not gonna do it either. All right, so let's switch up cars, try a different car that we might be able to actually do it with. Gotta find that big ticket car. Well, we'll give Adam LZ's S15 a rip. Shift in the third. We need to shift into third through the keyhole if we wanted to make this car work. It does seem like we possibly could get it with LZ's 15. So let's try it one more time and hopefully we can stay closer to him on that uphill. car throws massive amounts of angle yet so what we do need to do is downshift from the third through this section of the course and then shift back up into fourth all right so I think we can get it with LZ's car we just got to make sure we don't short shift Gotta cut the angle there. And then we get left here. So, not sure if we're gonna be able to do it with LZ's car either. So let's change to another car. Definitely need to tune a bunch of these cars. None of these cars are tuned at all for me. So, we might, did my game just freeze? Oh, uh, rip. So after that, where our game decided to lag ourselves out and cancel, we're going to go take a look and try the Torque Drift BRZ. We had some good runs with this car before, so let's see if maybe the Torque Drift BRZ will be able to take down Vaughn. Oh, we definitely do not have the grip. Nope, we don't have the grip. So we're going to go back to some pro cars and we're going to pull out the car that I usually chase very well with in the Christos Blues Z92. We were doing pretty well on the uphill section with Belusha Z92. So I think if we can not go into the grass with it, we might actually be able to do this in the E92. I don't know why the cursor is there. Apologize for the cursor being in screen. Ugh. Nope. Keep washing out the front end. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh, okay. Restarts only count for lead driver. This is our best run so far. 
but nowhere near that high score that we need to get in order to get that badge or I believe even the FD crates I think it was 20 28 for the FD crates yeah we didn't even get uh we didn't get bronze so we're just struggling to find the car that will work in our favor I'm gonna try my 350 but I think the engine in this is totally changed and needs to get a good retune Yep, the 350 needs to get a full rework done on it if I'm going to want to be able to use it in competitions or with you guys on live streams. I'm struggling hardcore with this. So if you guys completed this, let me know what car you guys used to complete it because I'm struggling here at Road Atlanta. It's not an easy track, and I feel like if I had maybe Chelsea's car or Vaughn's car, I probably would be able to possibly get this done. Yeah, we just cannot get anywhere close with these cars. I think Christos Blush was our best option car, and we were not able to get cl that close. Let's pull out the BMW and see if we can get it done with this. keep forgetting that he crosses over and yep that's not gonna work we go full send I keep forgetting he crosses over so we need to maintain our way over here this car just automatically wants to get super sideways and I don't feel like this car has enough grip either we're gonna go back to Christoph Blue's car try it one more time before we end this episode off Final run in Christoph Blue's car. Definitely need to rework my controls so that I can clutch kick better because I feel like that is what is my downside. Going uphill, oh, wrong gear. Right here, I feel like I need to downshift or clutch kick to be able to keep the car in the angle I want it to do. And I'm just not able to get it right now. My controls apparently are all kind of screwed up and I do not have a clutch kick. So, full send initiation. So just hook it really hard and hope it comes out. Yep. So that is the way we need to do it, but we are not anywhere near close to Vaughn. So I think that'll do it here for this episode here on Torque Drift. Trying to complete the Road Atlanta Challenge and, uh, failing at the Road Atlanta Challenge. Like I said, make sure you follow me and also comment down below. Let me know down in the comments if you guys completed it. What car did you use? And how many times did it take you? Because you can see my struggles right now are very real in this challenge. And I feel like it's just me. I feel like a lot of people are probably just yep, see right there. Washed out, had no control on the front end and we're into the wall. So, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.